Hey everybody, how are you doing? For those of you who follow me on Facebook and Twitter, you know I just had a birthday, so I want to thank everybody for all the birthday well wishes and also to get well wishes and the ideas and the tips and things for maybe helping me get my sugar under control faster. So today, I just got this today, Dee Dee. I'm not sure on your edges, but I just got it today, so I'm getting ready to open it on camera. And it is a beautiful card. Hope your birthday blossoms into lots of dreams come true. And Dee Dee is a, a artist, and she's also a paper artist. And so she likes making all these little, I don't know, these scrapbookers and stuff like that. So she likes doing all that stuff. Love from all the girls. <laughs> XO Dee Dee. Um, I used to, when I was out of work, I was watching her videos over on Ustream. And now that I'm back to work, I miss them because they're doing the day while I'm, you know, working. So they need to have a weekend crew just for me. But anyway, that's the car. Not too sappy. There you go. Um, thank you very much, everybody. I really like this. I love these flowers. They're so cute. So that was my birthday cards. Um, my husband made me a bowl cake, which I only had like a little teeny bit. Uh. It was like, let me see. I don't think I have anything. Okay. No, I don't have anything that size in here. So, well, actually, yeah. See the, the wall on this spindle? So, imagine a bow about as tall as this spindle is and about the same size. That's how much cake I was able to eat. That little teeny bit, and that's all I had at the birthday bowl cake that he made and it was chocolate which is my favorite with roasted um walnuts on it and pudding and stuff so I it was really good and it was sad because I could only have that little teeny bit and he didn't even want to give me that but you know hey you gotta be bad every once in a while so that was my being bad which I was already in the middle of of, of craziness anyway so it, it did cheer me up a lot and he and the kids have completely demolished the rest of it so um and so, yeah, that was my birthday. Um, I also got, so I did this video. I thought I don't know if to show y'all yet. So I got a birthday card from my coworkers. And some yarn. It's the, the yarn is the Lion Brand <clears throat> Heartman yarn. And the colorways are red wood. This is real pretty. And the other one is... Hot Springs. Why would purple be Hot Springs? I don't know. But this is the colorway. So someone explained this to me. It's a real pretty purple. It almost reminds me of that Vanna White's variegated purple that they had out on the darker parts of it. But they got me that. My coworkers did. This is very thoughtful and wonderful of them. Each skein is 200 and da 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 da. It's size 4 yarn, which is worsted. And it's 251 yards per skein. So I had to find a good project for each of those skeins to use it with. Now, I was working on a hat. I, had, I didn't take any pictures on put on Instagram. But I was working on a hat and I just fraud it because it's way too big. So I got to redo it. I think I was using my size 8 needles. And I cast on too many stitches. I cast on 120, which is what I usually cast on when I use my size 6 needles. So I'm going to recast on, I'm going to do 115 stitches using my size 6 needles. And it should be fine then. Because um, I need to finish it tomorrow. So, But it was this hat and cow that someone asked me to do. A circle of cow in black. So this is just garter stitch. And it has, of course you know it has cat hair on it. So I'll take the the uh, net roller to it before I give it to her. But it's just garter stitch. Um, the person wanted it. They didn't want it. They didn't want a, didn't want a scarf, traditional scarf because they didn't want to deal with the ends hanging out. And circular scarves are fine for men and women, especially a plain scarf like this. 
So if you're a guy who does not like tassels and does not like having a scarf that's just dragging all over the place, getting caught and stuff, a circular scarf will be perfect for a guy or a girl. Okay. In in um Korea, these are very popular with men. Even the big bulky decorative ones that you see people wearing. There was this Korean drama in um I think I think the guy is like a singer or something, but he was the star of this drama and it was about this guy that is a forensic scientist of some type. He's like a super intelligent but it because he's it was experimented on when he was younger and all this junk. It was it was a weird show. But I enjoyed it. <laughs> but anyway, he loves wearing those and those and gorgeous ones, real pretty ones. And I want the pattern to all of them. So yeah, so I frogged the hat to redo the hat. I finished the pattern, I just gotta weave in the ends. I got this yarn, birthday, birthday, and that's pretty much all that's going on right now. I don't have my glasses on because I'm still having a little vision shift issues. So actually right now, I'm not as nearsighted as I normally am. So putting my glasses on is making my vision worse and giving me a headache. So no glasses today. Um, yes, I know I have dark circles and all that stuff, but y'all, you'll, you'll be all right. <laughs> um, da 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 da. The cow, I'm still working on it. I stopped working on it to do the project that I need to finish by Monday. And here it is, the cowl. And once again, this is the first of the page that I'm using. This is the cowl with no name. Hold up. The Easy Lace Cow. Okay. And I am on my... One, two, three... I'm on my fourth repeat of the pattern. So let me see if I can show you guys. All right, yeah, this is the right side. Okay. So this is my fourth repeat of the pattern so far. So it's coming out. Okay. I know there's some mistakes in there, but I ain't worried about it because it's <laughs> for me. <laughs> but I'm liking it. Regardless of the mistakes, the count is still good as far as the, it's like threes for this pattern. So the count is still good. I just know that somewhere in here I've made some mistakes and my tension has changed and stuff. But I don't care, it's my cow and uh, I'll live. So yeah, so once I finish this hat, I'll start working on my cow again. I don't like having too many projects on the news as you guys know um the blanket i'll show you guys the blanket because i have worked on it some too and uh let's see drop my hook yes i went off camera y'all will be okay you know, things happen. People need to go off camera. I mean, if you get motion sickness that bad, you shouldn't be leaving your house much less watching videos. But this is a blanket. Let me see. All right. This is the blanket so far. Okay. So it's getting there. This is, um,. Almost two skeins of the Caron um, yarn, the big uh, nine dollar big nine dollar balls of it. The one pound, the one pound. Um, you know what I'm trying to say. The one pound skein, and. All right, so that's how much I've gotten done with the the blanket for, I believe his name is Dwayne or Daryl. I know it's, my, see, my husband's brother is, he has a brother named Dwayne, he has a brother named Daryl. And the young man, he has the same name as one of my husband's brothers. I just always forget which one he has a name similar to. And I've lost my weight, so you guys can see. 
I've lost a lot of weight since I first started doing videos. Nothing I can do about these bad boys, but everything else is shrinking. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that's that. Uh, I, w I wish they would shrink more than the rest of me. It's like my lower half is shrinking real good, but these are just like not moving. Like you can see it like in my shoulders and stuff. So, I'm getting there. Which, you know. So, we went. I have someone, there's someone at work that's pregnant. And they want a baby blanket. And they want it pink. And I was like, look, I'm sick of pink. Can you choose another color? Please, please choose another color. I mean, you know, I like a little extra something on the side. You know, that side, what they call it, side hustle, your side hustle. But, I'm sick to death of pink. People, let me explain something to y'all about girls. Most girls do not like pink. You have those gritty gritty girls who want to be gritty gritty girls and they really don't like pink either but they, it's, it's expected of them to like pink. So they lie and say they like pink when in reality they probably love dark blues and teals and things of that nature. So don't force your society's preferences on your child. Be different. Choose different colors because I'm sick to death for pink. That being said, we got this was the Craft Smart at Michael's and it has pink, blues, lavenders, purples, and it's really pretty. And I like it. And I'm going to do like the little hand thing so the baby can't scratch their face up. I'm going to do that and the little booties in the hat in this color. I'm going to do the blanket in this and white, which I have some over there somewhere. So this will be white. The blanket will be in this and white. I haven't picked the pattern for it yet. I'm thinking about trying to do, I think about doing a ripple. No, a cocoon. I'm going to do a cocoon. I probably need it then. I do like a table up the center or something. I don't know. And then I got some dark green because my brother-in-law, I made a scarf for him. I don't remember making this scarf. So God knows when I made it and gave it to him. Cause I don't even remember making it. He says I made a scarf. <laughs> but he wants a hat to match. Now, if you remember a couple of years back, Red Heart had a dark green yarn that was darker than their regular uh, Hunter Green. They had one that was darker than the Hunter Green. And I think it was called Evergreen or Forest Green. It was, it was a lot darker than this. And I haven't seen it for a long time. Um, so, he wanted a hat to match his scarf. He's going to have to get what he's going to have to get, which will be red, this green, and black, which is the color of the scarf he has. Um, you know, they don't make the yarn, they don't make the yarn. And you guys know how much I crochet and knit. Um, I go through, especially for the stuff that I do for um, <clears throat> Edmark Foundation. So I go through a lot of yarn during the year, making gifts for people, doing my pay it forward. Uh, you know, things of that nature. So I go through a lot of yarn every year. My thing is this though, when people place orders, they never freaking ask for stuff and colors that I already have. It, I'm like, how do you, it's like they got the psychic vibe. Does anybody else go through that? Somebody requests something and you only have like a, a little teeny scrap left of that color or you don't have that color at all because I'm not one for buying. I love naturals and grays, browns, um, you know, some blacks, whites, creams. I love natural colored fibers. So I will, I gravitate towards, towards those when I get yarn for my stash. Now, so I have to go out almost every order and purchase the yarn I need for that order. So that leads me to, um, I have a bag of. Coffee. Did you wave at everybody? I wave. Say hello. Hello. So I have a bag of scraps somewhere over there. Last time I sent all my scraps to Jen because she was working on a scrap blanket. I need to contact her and see if she wants if she's still working on that blanket because I could send those scraps to her too. 
um, some of the scraps I'm going to use to make those little hand things keep babies from scratching their face up. I think that'd be a good thing to add to the donations that people send to the um to the knit use and stuff instead of just always just sending preemie hats and, and I mean sending hats and blankets and stuff you know for the babies. Make some of those little things that they can put little onesie knitting things they can put on their hands to keep them from scratching their little faces up. Because uh, those little nails those babies those newborns have those things are sharp. I mean, you've, you've, I've seen babies with nasty scratches and they did it to themselves. Um, because they're, they don't have really good control and they're, they, they're doing this to their own faces and stuff. It's weird looking, but they do that and they get upset and they just want to, they're trying to grab something, I guess, to feel secure. Because, you know, they don't have much room to move around in the womb. Which is why I'm making a cocoon for the baby instead of a blanket. One, cocoons don't use half as much yarn as a blanket does. Two, if you knit it, even in, in if you crochet it, and if you crochet it in a nice enough fabric that is warm yet stretchy, that cocoon can stretch out and grow some with that baby um, until the baby grows out of their need for it. But if you make it longer um, and do like a rib top or something so they can fold it down, and then as the baby gets bigger, they can like, you know, release it up like like let the hem out of a pair of pants leg. Instead it's just the, the cocoon top. They could like unroll it or whatever so you, the baby can grow, you know, more into the cocoon kind of thing. So another good reason to use um an acrylic instead of a wool. As I always said, you would never see me making something for a baby out of alpaca or hundred percent wool. Even superwash. You wanna know why? Because babies throw up, babies poop. And they get it on everything. You mamas know what I'm talking about. And grandmamas and those who raise children know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Sometimes those babies' bowels, they don't have diarrhea. That's just how baby bowels are. They are so loose. It gets on every, it comes out of that diaper and it gets on everything. Everything. You know what I'm talking about. So that's why I always use acrylic products. I try to use critical products that soften up and wear well so that you can just throw it in the washing machine, throw it in the dryer, and you're done. You don't have to block it. You don't have to use any kind of special care other than don't put Clorox on it. <laughs> okay, ask me how I know. Yeah, bleach will screw up your yarn and it will take the color out your yarn for some things. My son is um he's the laundry person. He had an accident one time. That's how I know. <laughs> but it's okay. It was a, it was just some dishcloth, so you know I can make those with my eyes closed. So yeah, that's what I'm working on. That's what's going on. Feel free to comment. And let me know your bad experiences with products that you've made someone from expensive yarn and then it was destroyed. I didn't make anything from expensive yarn. Yes, I did. No, I didn't make it though. What was it? He shrank. Yes, I did make it. Remember those multicolored gloves I had that I told you I lost one, so I made another one to match it, and I only had like like this much yarn left when I got through with the second one. It's like a little teeny, tiny, probably like less than a yard left. Well, my son did the laundry, and I told him, "Hey, I need you to wash these, but take them out. Don't put them in the dryer. Just just let them air dry." Well. Didn't. And then I got, you guys know I got these super big hands, and so I could not wear my gloves no more. <laughs> yeah, so I gotta make me some more famous gloves. And and think talking about famous gloves, I'm gonna make me another pair of World of Warcraft famous gloves. I'm gonna make my husband another pair of socks. Speaking of which, hey yo you, you over there? You need to pick out the yarn for your socks. So yeah, so I'm gonna make him another pair. I'm making him another pair of socks. He has to pick out the yarn for it. So that's what's going on in my household. That's what's going on with me. Haven't done any spinning, but now that the weather is hopefully gonna be changing for spring, you want this impeccable? This is the yarn for his next pair of socks. He picked out my favorite one that I was gonna make something for myself with. You make me see it. It's okay. He's doing his little stank dance. <laughs> okay. So 
this is impeccable. The color is Earth. This colorway is my favorite, 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 <laughs> favorite loops and threads colorway. Now that blue, I mean, I like this a lot too. But this is my absolute favorite. So, when they were having that sale, and I saw that they had the big one, bam, I got it. This, I think, was 800 yards, was it? 600 yards, what is it? Where's the yardage? Fourteen ounce ball. It says it's a fourteen ounce ball. Five hundred and eighty two yards. Alright. This little one is 192 yards. So I got two of the little ones. And oh uh, don't fall down, ladies. And the big one. They have another sale. I'm going to get some more of that colorway because I, I want to make something for me in that colorway. I want to make one of those. I have the pattern for that cow Margaret made. I mean shawl. Not shawl. Well, it's, it's, like a, it's like a shawl, but you put the sleeves on it. And Margaret made one. And I have the pattern for that, and I've never made anything out of it. So, yeah. So I'm going to let you guys go because I really don't have nothing else to talk about. Someone asked me to do a tutorial, not tutorial, but a product review for the um, Heavenly Hand Spinning Vespera over on Instagram. Um, I've talked about the Vespera before in some of my older videos. So it is, uh, come on, Mushi. This is Mushi. I don't know you guys remember when she was a kitten. Because she like crawling all over me. Say hello, Mushi. You don't want to look at people? She smelled my breath. Because you know how it is with diabetes. Cats and dogs tend to gravitate towards your face when you're when you're putting out some ketones. She she whips her tail when she's frustrated. She'll whip it around and she'll pump you with it and stuff. Okay, shoo shoo. How'd you get in? Anyway, Mushi is not a hugger. She's so bossy and so dominant. It's like, you know, pet me. Okay, I'm done with you. Let me out. Okay, I came in. She doesn't like having doors shut. So she's bossy like that. She'll scratch at it until you open it for her. Bye. Ah. Then I shut it. She'll scratch at it again for me to let her back in. She don't like having doors shut. She thinks she owns this whole house. And that every door in this house is supposed to be open for her whims. So, yeah, that's Mushi. Uh, so, yeah, I really don't have that much else going on. I did get my desktop cleaned off for the most part. All the books and magazines are off of it now. Um, I still got some more stuff over here that I need to I want to take like well, well I got stuff I can take downstairs and put in some of the books bookcases downstairs and uh, so that'll get done eventually <laughs> eventually uh, happy birthday Ashley aka uh, God I'm gonna draw a blank mix plate over on Rav Happy birthday to Ashley's husband. He just had his birthday as well. Um, anyone whose birthday is in March, happy birthday to all my Pisces out there. We rock, and we know we rock. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I don't like having a lot of works in progress. Um... So once I finish this hat, that'll be another project done. Then I have my shop, uh, cow that I'm working on, the Easy Lace Cow. 
And then I have that normal project that is still sitting here. That's as far as I got. So I help work. She helped me with the pattern. But I'm not really feeling this yarn. So I think I'm going to frog it and use a different yarn for the, um, I'm not feeling it for that pattern. I might end up having to go buy some Noro to do it with. I don't know if she has any more than Noro that they use for the pattern in the store. I'll have to ask Ross to find out. If not, I'll find a substitute. But, um, yeah. Well, I might just finish making it with this yarn, just to get rid of this yarn, because I got this much left for this yarn. This yarn was a gift to me. I should just use it for their baby blanket. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to frog. Oh, I think I'm going to frog that and use a different yarn for it, and use that yarn for a baby blanket. Speaking of baby blankets, I got my Mary Matson. Um. Shipment in, and it is a knit cocoon and pack. Yep. And then this was the sock yarn that they sent with the pattern this time. Let me see. Yeah. And I'm glad because this sock yarn is the same as. This one. So now I have two skeins of that for my big feet. And that's the color candy cane. So I have two candy canes now in the sock yarn thing. And actually, you know what? I don't want to really pick that because that's going to be worse than eight socks. Let me see if I can get any. You know, that's too girly. Yeah, I'll use that one sock. That way it won't take long again. So I still got some yarn over there that I need to move from my video tutorial area that's the other thing I'm gonna be working on hopefully soon is getting a couple of tutorials out there for you guys hopefully my eyes aren't too freaky and aren't freaking you out by me squinting and looking at stuff <laughs> but this is with my glasses on this is what I will be doing like right here is I can actually see if my glasses are like a face away from my face I can read with them like that the closer I put them on, the blurrier stuff gets. So everything is blurry, almost double vision blurry. But it has to be this far away for me to see good. Right there. Which if you could see from the side, that's a good ways away from my face, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's why we don't have our glasses on. It's like I'm farsighted today. Hmm. It is what it is. So, I'm going to let you guys go. I got to start this head over. I want to get the ribbon done before we have to leave. Um, and yeah, so take care.